our practice strokes today, I want to share with you something that I've just got through teaching recently, and it is the different skill builders. This is skill builder one. If you're out there and you're a beginner, this is a great way for you to get started. I want you to know that um, I have floaty medium out here, and that's what we use, the gel that we use in here we, instead of water. We clean your brushes with water, but you don't have water in your brushes when you're painting. I'm putting the paint in between on my double loader, so this helps you load the sap green and citrus green. And we have magenta, worker white, and daffodil yellow for the rose. And then we have violet pansy. And I kind of tap it so the paint spreads out a little bit, and then we're ready to go. And this has a lid and other things to go with the double loader. It makes it really nice. So you can put up your paints and keep practicing. Well, this is what I want to show you really quick that happens through the worksheets that we have in here where we're practicing. And you practice right on top of these by putting them in the plastic sleeve and doing the, this is a workbook, and you're doing it on the plastic, wiping it off and practicing again. All right. So I just want to share with you very quickly that it has all the tools. And this number one tells you how to use all the tools, why we use them and how to load them and work with them. I also then teach you the right and wrong ways to load each brush, all right? And so step-by-step step in here is going to tell you how to make easy. Uh, the three paints, the three P's is enough paint, the right pressure on the brushes you're stroking, and the position of the handle of the brush. And so I want to start off right here by showing you that's all the instructions at the beginning, but then we learn how to paint all three of these. And then I'm, I've got worksheets to help you go through this, okay? So all through here, you're going to see the right and wrong ways and the worksheets to help you work, okay? So I just want to slide this in here to show you a quick little step, and then we're going to paint on the paper below to show you. So you slide it in here. I make sure I have a wet paper towel um, so that I can wipe off the paint as I'm practicing, okay? I've just dampened this paper towel. I'm gonna start out by coming right here with my 12 flat. I'm gonna go in between and split this brush and come right here really quickly and hard and work this in. Come here again and don't push so hard this time. As long as you've got the paint on the inside, you can just pick up magenta. All right, so you want it about two thirds full of the brush. Now I'm going to push down because when I when I wet it to get started, I think I have too much moisture in there, but there we go. All right, I can grab more. And then over here, I don't split the brush. These are my synthetic nylon brushes. They work good. I want you to see an H, see that? So the deal is we want to come up and over where that H crosses and then back down. And then here, we're going to come up and we're going to come right where that um, cross on the H, H is. <laughs> Excuse me. So watch this. We go up and over and you practice a few times. So I start up on the chisel. That's the chisel. Push, come up and slide. Now I can flatten the brush if I got more paint. I'm going to do this step next. So I start exactly where that line was, put pressure and come up and see the white of the brush. The white makes a U. All right. Now I take you and I explain all steps by step here, how to make that happen. And then the next few pages, we're going to wipe this as we go, because this will dry on here because it's made to stay. Okay. All right. So then you're going to practice on here, up and over. Then we do a U. See the U? Then I get more paint. I do a bigger U. All right. And then I might do a chisel. That's the chisel. Chisel. And then we put a couple of leaves and we do this. All right. This is the last one, which means on this one, I did a few more of these swoops across here make it a fuller looking rose all right so it's as easy as that but it's a whole complete workbook and you have the pages in there to practice and so I just want to show you that 
in this, I then teach you how to dip some yellow daffodil and make a peace rose. Okay, so let's look at this up and over. Then we're going to make a U. Pick up some more white, make a bigger scoop for you. And then I'm going to lean out and come over. Look, I touch here, lean the white and slide across. I have eight different workbooks where you could actually learn how to teach and everything in those workbooks. And I have three hour videos with each one of them on my website. So go check them out when you get a chance. Okay, so there we are. Now I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna split and get citrus and sap green, work it in. And if I want that lighter, I could just dip white and work it in. Okay, so now on these, I teach you these slider leaves where you push and stand up, pressure and slide, pressure and slide. Okay, so you just put these little leaves in here that we practice just like I practice those. All right, and now here's this little leaf. I mean, this I want you to practice and you're gonna practice right on top. On this, I do use water. It's the only time is with the liner brush to make it inky. And then I could streak it through a little bit of white. All right, and I, I practice right on top of here. So I want you to see that you slide down and then you slide back up, slide and slide back up. And I don't have the plastic here to put that on top of it. So I'm just going to keep going. So look, I'm going to slide down and then just pull it back up. So come back where it's inky, slide down and pull it back up. Okay. And then we're going to make it a wiggle come down. And then I just get a little bit of white and I do a couple cross hatching across there to tie the bow. And I even teach you how to take the greens, make them inky, and make curls. And that's how we practice these on here so that we even have curly cues like this to practice. All right. And there you go. So that's just one little thing you learn in the workbook. And I want you to see that when you've got a loaded brush and you're on a dry surface, this what we're going to be practice on, practicing on is that, um, slick because it's the plastic. But when we're taking and we're going to do this and we're trying to wiggle, and if it's not, if it's like no matter how much paint, you might still be dry. So then you dip into the medium straight in, work it in, and then it makes it feel like butter. And it just does it so easy for you, all right? But water makes it muddy, so we don't want that. This is thick as the paint. It's the it's what's in the paint with no medium, all right? It's the fluff that's in the paint with no medium. So you wipe it off, and you're ready to practice again. And I will see you next week. So practice, practice on your work worksheets. Um, and homework that I give you each week. And I hope to see you next week. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.